Hey, Turtle Club, we are back for the last hour and a half of the 14-hour streamathon. And we have been streaming games that are important to the channel. And one thing that we've done is we've done games of the past. We've done games that we're presently been playing. And one thing that's important to the channel is games that we've not played before. And so that's why the last two games are going to be ones that we've not played that have not been on the channel before. And that's important too. Because one of the things that you guys enjoy, and I enjoy as well, is playing things that we've never seen, we've never touched, we've never heard of in some cases. Um, and that's, uh, in this case, that's Ultratron. I have very little clue how this is going to go, because this is supposed to be an arcade feel, fast pace, get in, everything goes crazy kind of game. Um, But supposedly this is a, a dual thumbstick shooter. Oh yeah, that's exactly what this is. So the left stick moves, while the right stick basically streams bullets at whatever's coming on here. Yeah, hey Drew, how's it going? Glad to see you there today, Mr. Benson. Uh, we are playing um, this game here, and I don't know, you know, we, we slated half an hour for this particular game. Bigger dots are worth more cash. Uh, this game hallmarks and harkens back to games like uh, what we played earlier was Gunheim. Hey, internet is working. Cool. Glad to hear it. Uh, we're getting cash. I don't know why we're getting cash. I mean, the storyline on these kind of games is usually kind of light. And we like to... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Shop-o-matic. Okay. So, um, automatically fires smart bombs when you're droid has no shields so and about the same damage. Repair. Oh, we can buy some stuff. So these are all locked. There's nothing we can really buy here, it looks like. So we go and continue. So so this reminds me of Smash TV, if you've ever played it. Oh, two times multiplier? Okay. That's kind of important. Getting money. So you got oh storms going okay pizza ball that that is that explains it say no more we've had some rather bad internet today uh, during the stream we've had some some kickups and some some issues our shields are at three our smart bombs are at zero because we don't have any smart bombs okay our bombs have no intelligence. All right, we're at a thousand. Okay, so now we can buy droid power. The strength of your primary weapon. Oh, that sounds good. And we will buy some smart bombs. Oh, we can't buy any because we're now down to 130. How are you feeling? I'm uh, not really pizza ball. It's not really taking a toll. I think the, the, the thing, oh, so the gun changed colors. That's pretty neat. And this game is on Xbox. Um, I'm actually playing on the Xbox One S. And that's another thing that, you know, this is the... Yeah, it looks like Smash TV. Exactly, Simon. It, it reminds me a lot of Smash TV. Um, it doesn't have the cheesy announcer. It it has a two-player mode. Um, and so far, it's, it's rather kind of neat. Supposedly, the, the storyline is you are the last human... Oh, we have something trying to actually shoot us instead of just ram into us. I can get behind more challenging difficulties. Rapid fire. Oh, power ups. Here we go. Oh, auto smarts. Smart bombs when your droid yap. Yeah. Uh, dot slurper increases the range at which your droid slurps up. Dots. Oh, that's good. Um, I think that's one we could definitely use in a smart bomb. Fires a dev. So, fires this in long range. Press any of the trigger buttons to fire. Okay. Oh, it's it's a single shot thing. It doesn't recharge either, it looks like. Okay. Oh, wow. Remember playing Smash TV on the C64? I remember playing it on the Nintendo. I actually played it in the arcade a couple times. That was actually pretty cool because... Most arcade games, and it was really neat, um, because most arcade games have, you know, a joystick and a button. 
or a joystick and several buttons. And this thing actually had two joysticks. And it was the weirdest thing to see a game that had just two joysticks. So this definitely kind of brings me back. Um, okay, so that's, that's the end of that. All right. Automatically fires. Yeah, we already saw that. 2K. We're at 1,400. Um, so let's buy up some smart bombs and this time not be silly with them. Hey, opponents! Thank you for joining in today again. And it absolutely is. The, the sound effects are really just spot on. Oh, and there's an achievement unlock. Oh, wow. There is... Oh. Multiplayer deactivated for getting hit. And this is where things are getting crazy. The question is, and we don't know, is when we die... Oh, shields are down. Shields are down. Oh, game over. Game over. So, we got to level 5 in the first couple of minutes uh, with two-player co-op. Um... So far, it's not too bad. Uh, looks like the power-ups all went away, so it's definitely roguelike-ish. In fact, that when you die, um, you have to restart all over. But we're okay with that. We, uh, getting harder probably gets harder. Oh yeah, absolutely, the game's getting harder. It, it got to where I couldn't dodge. And at the end of a... <laughs> we're in hour 13 of a 14-hour stream. Um, yeah, my, my reaction time is definitely... Definitely, this is not one of the games that we really wanted to play later in the stream series, but we thought it important um, to also kind of help showcase the fact that... Droid power, yeah. Um, that one of the things that happens on this channel a lot, too, is the fact that I work nights. On Vita or something very similar. Oh, okay. Well, I know it's on PC. Um, anytime I see a game on Xbox, I check to see if it's on PC also. But we do have the Xbox Game Pass service, and that is, that's been really awesome. Um, the mix of games between new and old, arcade and RPG and alike, on their Game Pass service is really good. Um, if you're wanting to stream specific games, like if you're going to do just like one game, or two games. Hey, Jelly King, this is called Ultratron. It is a dual stick shooter on Xbox One I've, and other consoles. I don't know what other consoles it is, but yeah, it's basically stick moves and this stick right here is the stick that fires. And it's actually uh, pretty interesting so far. I gotta say, I wasn't quite expecting all of this. Um, I don't think we're gonna buy anything at this level. I, I don't think, because uh, yeah. Shoot speed droid for bonus cash and power-ups. There's the power-ups. As long as we can keep not, you know, getting hit this time, I think we'll be okay. But when they start shooting at us, it's where it gets... Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Um, it's good old kind of what I call mindless fun. And mindless fun is, you know... Mindless fun's important. Uh, especially when you've been thinking and doing all sorts of other stuff. Um, sometimes you just want to just veg and just play something that you can just kind of glaze your eyes at. Power boost! Boom! Gun power system temporarily augmented. Alright, so we can do the slurper and the droid power. Bam! I, I do like the, uh, the scrolly screen thing. Because that's, that's kind of neat. That, that, that makes me think of like back when I was playing on my NES. I say I don't remember me, but I remember you. Okay. Do you play retro games on your channel, like NES games, for example? Yes, Simon, we do. Um, we had a... We actually played a number of retro games. Uh, we are playing Majora's Mask and Psychonauts uh, with some actual rotation to it. Uh, we, we have a number of games that we do play. Um, and we, we play basically what we have available, uh, and what the actual Turtle Club wants to see played. Uh, 
Oh, that's a nice little power-up. I like the double shooter that I got going right now. That I can get used to that. These are the things that really killed us last time. Those little spiders on the wall. Um, we can't droid power. We can't slurp it up. Um, auto smarts, no. Alright. Assault levels. And this is where we really got wrecked last time. I think the smart bombs are going to come in really handy for this kind of stuff. Because of how horrible this level was. Gotta do some dodging. Gotta do some beeping and bopping. Oh. Oh, we are... We're doing way better than we did last time. We have yet to get hit by any kind of missile projectiles. There's so much going on the screen, though. That, that's the one thing that really got... Oh, there we go. We finally got hit. Is we just were... We were focusing too much on the dodging and the shooting things that we just couldn't do it. Uh, welcome back, Slacky Moon. Uh, did you miss Majora's Mask? Slacky Moon, uh, no. Uh, Majora's Mask, we play on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, that's what we're currently running through on the main category. Uh, oh, wow. They go up in cost every time you buy one. Oh, that explains why we've been having some issues buying them up. All right. So we're doing far, far, far better this time through. Um, times two multiplier active. All right. We absolutely can be behind times two multiplier. Go hoover up these dots. They're not coins even. They just call them dots. I mean, how awesome is that? Bouncy bullets? Oh, that's fun. Just blow everything away. Oh, we got hit with the shields once. We're going to have to power up our shields at one point. Oh, here's a grape. I don't know what the grapes do other than they actually have points. And that's another thing. When was the last time you guys really saw a game with a scoreboard, right? I mean, that's... that's. Uh, I don't know, Simon. I don't know. We just picked it up off the, the App Store uh, for the Xbox. And again, that's one of those things that we want to we want to keep going is uh, the fact that you know sometimes the what we like to do is blind play. Uh, blind play is always fun because we get to experience everything together. Occasionally, you know, we'll play games that we know a lot about, and that's fun too. Uh, but blindly playing through a game lets us all kind of experience everything. And this is, again, this is a nice little action-packed kind of fast arcade game. And it's not really meant to be anything other than just to pick up, grab it, and go. Would you ever think of playing Roblox? Uh, I looked at Roblox and not really. Shoot all spy droids, so challenge level. So this looks like it's a bonus stage? With the bounty bullets, it doesn't really have much of a challenge to it. Um... Challenge complete. Cool beans. All right, we'll see you, Jelly King. Yeah, blind plays are they, they're really good. They let us kind of get to experience things. Um, I think that's going to be really good for us. With the way it seems to be explaining. All right, shooty pet, pet droid. Oh, that's neat. Two Louis. All right. Two levels until lieutenant. So that tells me that there may be bosses here. Oh, is that a lieutenant? Or is that a turret? That's like a turret. Oh, that's a second turret. It shoots everything I shoot. Or it shoots the directions I'm shooting at least. That that's cool. I like the I like the little shooty turret there. That's that's way awesome. All right, so if that's the pet thing, we definitely want to get enough for pet. I like the sound effects, yes, the robot voices, the music. It's it's I could see. I mean, think about it, guys. Like ten years ago, going into a a place where there's like pool table set up. And where you've got, you know, arcade machines, DDR machine in the corner, and this game's like sitting in the corner. Uh, 
I could so see myself like pulling up to this thing and feeding it like three dollars, you know, a uh, quarter of play, fifty cents a play, depending upon you know the era. Oh, the turret thing stuck around too. Oh, that's that's great. Plus one shield. Oh, I like that. I like the fact that I can pick up plus one shield off of spider roids. That's so good. That's so good. Can I get to the watermelon in time? Nope, I can't. Oh, rough. Oh, looks like the watermelon came to me. Sweet. Oh, this game, awesome. What's game? Uh, this is called Ultratron. Um, and it's actually, it's really fun. Uh, oh, we get a shooty pet now. Bucket list, get a DDR machine before you get too old. Oh yeah, no watermelon. Oh, we, 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 we almost got the watermelon now. Wow, the, the, the bug, I mean, everything that's going on here, guys, is just really awesome. Really awesome. Oh, they shot my little thing. Oh, there's a watermelon. We got a more watermelon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boss battle. Boss battle. We are absolutely going to use the smart bomb on that thing. Because, oh yeah, smart bomb has to happen. Dodge and purple. Dodge and purple. So there's your answer to does this game have bosses? It absolutely has bosses. Oh, this little power up's about to die too. Um, yeah, it does, um, Haku, it does. Um, ooh, we got we got the boss. Alright, sweet. Uh, we just played Dark, Bill. Um, sorry, man. You missed it. Um, uh, welcome back, Indigo. Yeah, uh, hopefully the enchiladas were good. They looked good, from what I can tell. Bum, 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 bum. So we can't afford... Oh, we can afford some smart bombs. Boom, boom. Checkpoint reached? Oh, so checkpoint. So when we die, does that mean we get to come back? Sorry, man. Bill, we've been streaming for a total of 13 hours almost, and we've been playing a new game every hour to two hours. They were awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear. I like enchiladas. Uh, Dig Rat makes me some really good ones. Um, she's got the recipe. Oh, here's one of these dudes. I uh, I don't like the triple blaster. I I much rather have my bouncy bullets back. But it is what it is. Multiplayer deactivated because we got shot. Sadness. All right, way cool. Appreciate that, Kazu. Uh, Kazudo. Um, max out our smart bombs. It repairs any damage defense turns at the end of a duel. That'd be cool. Let's see. What are we trying to save up for next? Scan range. Huh. Neat. Double laser looks better than the triple. Oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. East Coast, so you just sleep? That's okay, man. Well, we started at 8 p.m. Um, so we, we, uh, we've we been playing for a bit, but I totally understand, man. But we upload all of our actual streams strictly for that reason. So if anyone misses anything, um, that's... Oh, that was, that was, that was not what we thought it was. We're going to vanquish the 100 enemies. Wow. Wow. We're going berserk. I don't know what going berserk means. But it seems pretty neat, you would think. I turn it. Yeah, oh yeah. What's the plot for this game? So, the, the plot for the game is you are not exactly a robot. You are like the last part of humanity. All the other human beings, anything that was remotely human is gone. And you are trying to kill all the robots. Robot Uprising. Um, if you buy it, yeah, it's it's the difference in price, Kazu. Um, so 2300 so not quite enough for anything that seems to be interest. 
kind of need to uh, up our shield again. That's getting kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's 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 very plot light. Very plot light. Hey, DJ Link. Hello, man. Glad to see you here. Welcome to the channel, Versity. Um, can we get the power up? Yes. We got the defense drone. Awesome. I like having the defense drone because the defense drone is super good. I, oh, come on, come on. Die, die. Is this romance game about trying to win over your crush? Not really. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, we got to stop getting hit. We got to stop getting hit. We're doing pretty good, though. I mean, considering the first time through, we got off in like five minutes. Um, this is definitely doing a lot better. Definitely doing a lot better. The, the enemies definitely get harder. The action gets more frantic paced. Oh, there's a thousand bucks. Oh, we're, we're good with a thousand bucks. We absolutely are good with a thousand bucks. Or a thousand dots, rather. They're not dollars, they're dots. Um, which is kind of funny. But challenge stage coming up. All right, shoot all the spider. Oh, this is going to be a little harder without our bounce ball. I think we might have missed it. We might have missed one. I don't know. Challenge complete. Sweet. Thanks, DJ Link. Really appreciate you with the DG on the happy anniversary there. Okay, so we're at 2K. Mm. We really need to store back and hope for the best. All right, so continue salt level. Oh, these were wor really bad during the first branch of stuff. I can only guess how bad it's going to be this time. Yeah. Oh, we're going to use smart all these guys. Because they need to be used. Ugh. If we're about to take damage, it's supposed to use our smart bomb. So we'll see what happens. Try to avoid all the blue dots. All the blue dots. All the blue dots. Oh, every time that pet gets hit, he goes, help, help. We have to save him. Oh, there we go. That, that, that saved us, but we're, we're out of smart bombs now. Ugh. We got to buy our shields up. That had to happen. Laser pet. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, DJ. Take care, man. Missed the spider. Um, oh, okay. Didn't, it said we completed it. Uh, this is on Xbox One, but it's on several other platforms. Pretty sure it's on Steam. Right, and... Oh, there went the turret that we had for a while. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely kind of fun, guys. Having a pretty good time with it. Definitely less action paced now that we kind of got out of that crazy, crazy level. Not having our uh... boy, that guy's got some armor on him. He dropped a lot of dots though. Xbox One, cool build. Did you... All right, smart bombs. We need to buy some of those. And our gamertag information is in our Discord, inside one of the hidden rooms once you actually agree to the Terms of Service on our Discord. I guess not Terms of Service, but the rules for the community. Now we do clean up our actual, oh, healthy diet. I don't know what we just ate. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Guys, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, so these little red dots are bad for us. I get that now. I didn't get it at first, but I definitely get it now. Those little, whatever those dots are, um, they're just, they're like landmines, I guess. Smart Bomb, alright, we'll use a Smart Bomb, like right now. Blow everything up. Smart Bomb added to Armory, and then we just use it as quickly as we got it. Alright, we gotta buy our shields back up. Levels until Bellum. Two levels until Bellum. So that's the next boss is Bellum. Multiplier deactivated because we got hit. So when the when the things get inside this little range is when the actual pets start attacking. Oh, there we go. There's our double cannon. We like the double cannon. Double cannon is one of our happy, happy weapons. Now that thing, that's what that thing is. That's that's the thing that we just killed and dropped all them bombs. Avoid all nephroids. Don't shoot unless you have to. Alright. So... That's a neat little difference. Um, basically saying don't shoot, avoid, dodge. Nice little difference in the bonus round system. Challenge complete. Sweet. Thousand? Oh, woohoo. So we can buy our shields up. And buy up a smart bomb. One level until Bellum. Alright, so we're about to kill Bellum. I think that's where we'll be ending the stream, guys, after we kill Bellum, because we'll get to another checkpoint, and I think that means we'll be able to continue. Having the focus fire on some of these guys is really difficult. For the guys that are armored, especially. Oh, here's a grape. Come on, grape. Where's the grape coming? There's the grape. Where's it going? There's it going. Alright, we're at a thousand. Which can't get us anything. Boy, ain't that a, a good kick in the pants there. Alright, here we go. Boss battle coming up, guys. Bellum awaits. So we kill all these little underlings first. Oh, there's a spider. We oh bouncy bullets. We love bouncy bullets. Bouncy bullets makes the game just totally broken. Basically, I don't have to aim at anything as much. Multiplier deactivated. All right, so that was that was not a power up. Sometimes the power ups in the uh, arm things look about the same. But I guess it's the color coding that we use on these things. All right, that makes it. Oh, here's Bellum. Boom. Triple shot bouncy stuff. Boom. Wow. So Bellum is like really soaking up the smart bombs. I think Bellum's gonna kill us. Oh, we, we barely took it out, Turtle Club. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was... We're like zero shield, zero boost, zero smart bombs. Oh, we got to buy our shield back up, guys. Checkpoint reached. Boom. So, if we quit, Central Nexus mode... Are you sure you want to play? Yep, yep, we absolutely are going to do that. Uh, so if you go to play, it asks us to continue. Sweet! So that's... Oh, check it out, guys. Check it out. So it lets you select the checkpoint when you decide to continue. That's neat. That is super neat. 
Well, guys, this has been great. We're about to start our last stream for the 14-hour streamathon. It's going to go a little bit past 10, um, but I think we're going to like it. It's again, we're thinking at this moment games that are for the future for the channel, and those are games that we've never played before. Um, so that's been kind of the whole ride tonight, guys. Starting off with what made the channel, what it was, what helped sculpt the channel, what helped create us to where we're at, and uh, stuff you know, just fun stuff to see what we can pick up in the future. Um, so we're absolutely, absolutely happy to see all that. Uh, let's see here, what we got going on here? Looks like we got a retro pre-2010 coming up this Sunday as it's looking right now. But yeah, guys, have a good one. I will be right back in about five minutes after YouTube does its thing. <laughs>